Randy, good morning. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, it, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, the, the counting is still going on and we still don't have a clear winner, though uh, now the base case is that uh, Biden is the president, but the uh, Senate is with Republicans. Uh, do you think that's uh, the best case scenario for the market? I don't know if it's the if it's the if it's the best case or not, but I would say that right now it looks like the most likely case. I think what the market really reacted to today is that if that is the scenario and the GOP keep the Senate as it looks like they're going to, it's likely that any fiscal stimulus bill will be smaller than if there had been a Democratic sweep of both the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Uh, as a result, so a, a smaller fiscal stimulus bill means potentially slower economic growth going forward. Mm. And what we really saw in the market uh, today uh, on, 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 on uh, uh, Wednesday here in the U.S. Yes. was that value stocks and cyclical stocks and financials either lagged or sold off and growth stocks, technology, but in particular healthcare, really rallied. Healthcare rallied because it's unlikely there's going to be a major national health care change with the GOP continuing to hold the Senate. So really what you saw was a rotation back to growth and away from some of the stocks that would be favored in, in a value or cyclical scenario. Okay. Uh, Randy, uh, thank you uh, for staying up for us. How does that, this uh, scenario change your outlook towards emerging markets? Uh, fewer tariff uh, skirmishes, would you think? What would your pecking order be? I would think uh, there would hopefully be fewer uh, uh, tariff skirmishes. I think uh, one thing you saw that it was very interesting is that with a smaller fiscal stimulus plan, you saw that uh, U.S. bonds r rallied, yields fell. So the market was clearly dialing in a little bit slower growth. And importantly, the dollar rallied. The dollar has is back to 2018 levels. You know, it's, it's down about it's about a 93 and change versus the basket. Uh, it had obviously been much higher earlier in the year. Uh, you know, a little bit stronger dollar usually is, a, is slightly negative for emerging markets. Emerging markets have had a good move, obviously, since the lows in, in March. But a lot of them have been have been pulling back recently. At O'Neill, the only emerging market we actually have rated in a confirmed uptrend in a, in a strong buy right now actually is India. Uh, a lot of emerging markets are either in, a, in, a, in an uptrend under pressure or a downtrend. So really, uh, India has been the best of the bunch technically. Okay. So let's talk about India then. Uh, Randy, I'm sure you would have followed what's happened over the last one week or 10 days. There's been a big surge in financial stocks. Uh, do you think that could continue? Uh, uh, it has been a, a big surge. Obviously, recently, uh, two things have happened in India. Tech and financials have been doing better. And in the last month, actually, large cap has been doing better. Mid and small cap had been doing well in India, but now large cap is really asserted. Uh, we do like HD, uh, uh, HDFC. Uh, we do like that stock. We do tend to favor technology more, though. Uh, you know, one stock we really like, and I know you had the CEO mm -hmm. uh, on with you uh, last Friday, is we do like Infosys. Okay. Uh, that's a company that is putting up very good numbers. They're seeing a strong transition to digital, as they highlighted in their interview with you. Digital is now about half the business, and it's growing about 25 percent uh, a year right now. Uh, we still like Tata Consultancy as well. So we do still really like the big Indian technology outsourcers, and we do still favor growth, even though I know the banks have been doing better. Okay. Uh, but therefore, in your, uh, say, $100 of Indian stocks, will the percentage of tech go up? I, I think it's like to. I, th I think it's likely to. I think one of the things that's going to be a positive change uh, for India, or rather I truly should say a positive continuing trend, is I think many companies are going to rework both their supply chains uh, uh, out of China and into India uh, for a variety of reasons. I think that's going to continue to fuel technology spending and growth in India, and I think that's a, a good place to be. I also actually think uh, we're going to see an increase in manufacturing in India as people rework their supply chains. There are, there are a lot of companies that had an awful lot of their manufacturing in China, even if, even if they're not going to take it all out, I think they want to diversify away from China. And I think India is really going to be the big winner of that. 
Can you name one or two or even more uh, companies that are on your radar exactly for this, grabbing uh, some business that's new? Uh, you know, we haven't added very many specific manufacturing stocks recently. We have added uh, some chemical companies. We really like PI Industries, and we really like uh, uh, Navin, are two names that, that, we, that we prefer. Uh, so, but, but we probably actually do need more exposure in the portfolio to the emerging uh, theme of that shifting okay. of manufacturing into okay. India. Oh, final question from me, Randy. Uh, sure. You know, uh, this huge rally that we are seeing across the globe is flying in the face of the second wave of COVID and second line of uh, lockdowns we are seeing in Europe. Uh, do you think this rally is in danger of getting sabotaged or rather sold into? I, I think my biggest concern, and that's a great question, I think my biggest concern is that earnings estimates for the first half of 2021 are very high. So if you look at the U.S., the S&P is supposed to see a 13 percent earnings gain in Q1, but it's supposed to see more than a 40 percent earnings gain in Q2 on a year to year basis. And I am worried it's going to be a tough winter in many parts of the globe, Western Europe, uh, you know, North America. So I do worry that economic growth might be a little bit slower in the first half of the year before picking up later in the year. Okay. And so that does concern me about whether stocks are pricing in a little bit too much good news. Uh, I do think stocks globally are helped though by the fact that rates and inflation globally is gonna stay low. I think that it continues to force investors into stocks, which is kind of the only game in town. Mm. And so I think growth is gonna be favored. I think that helps growth stocks and it actually helps the Indian market. Oh, yes. Thank you very much uh, for staying up for us, uh, Randy. And let's hope when you wake up tomorrow, you'll have some more clarity about your president. Thank you very much for joining us. I think it might be a day or two more, but hopefully by the weekend. <laughs> oh, OK, OK. We'll have reasons to speak again then. Thanks a lot for joining us. We're going to take a break on that note and our entire...